Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com, and I've had a request um, from a doctor who's asking me about Bolton discrepancies, and he wants me to explain how he can learn more about this within his Invisalign portal for his Invisalign cases, and just in general, what is a Bolton discrepancy? And I'm a bit at a crossroads here because last week I got a really nasty mean note from a Lines legal team um, telling me I'm not allowed to make any instructional videos regarding their stuff. Um, even though I don't make any money off these, um, and it takes a lot of time and actually costs me money to do this kind of things for editing and everything, I do it to be nice and to help other doctors who are asking for my help. They're begging for help because Align's educational you know, situation is, is not so great and you have to pay for a lot of it. And basic FAQs and questions isn't available. If you have a question, you have to talk to somebody from another country and often it's, it's cumbersome and they don't really seem to be excited about talking to you. And it's really just quite confusing for me because I met with Invisalign's exec team in person last year and they welcomed me to do this. So I don't know why now they're serving me with papers and trying to cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars because I'm helping doctors. So please feel free to reach out to Invisalign and let them know that I know now that they are, they are partnering with Molis Coaching Agency. So they don't, I'm kind of a persona non grata in terms of my coaching, but if you appreciate what we do for you at Straight Smile Solutions, let Team Invisalign know that you appreciate it and that you demand that we can still make instructional videos to help you guys how to use their platform better and how to do things better and to explain things better. So yes, this is a bit of a, a rant because I'm upset because you know we're not directly partnered with anyone. We help all companies. We help all doctors, basically. Sorry, we don't help companies. We help doctors. And if it means we're making some content about your product or your company, it's just a truthful content on how to use it. And no, it may not be the best thing ever. And we're going to say if it's not great and it needs work, but that's just how it is. It's so doctors can do better orthodontics. So anyways, let's go back to the question, which was about how do I use my uh, portal my clean check to learn about Bolton discrepancies and unfortunately I can't show you what it looks like because I'm not illegally allowed to do that anymore so here is a purchase an image I purchased from a stock image so at least you had something to stare at while I talk and I will verbally tell you where to go isn't this ridiculous wouldn't it be easier if I could just send a screenshot and show you where to go and do a demo video but no can't do that anymore thanks to your friends at Invisalign so um, yeah all right, so if you go into your ClinCheck web, sorry, I use web because I have a Mac, go to the third button from the right at the top and it says Bolton. Push that button on your case and it's going to show you the Bolton discrepancy. It's gonna show you a three to three discrepancy and a six to six discrepancy. Remember three to three means canine to canine, six to six means molar to molar. It's gonna show you if there's a discrepancy in the mandible or a discrepancy in the maxilla and it's gonna give you numbers. Don't get overwhelmed with the numbers because basically what this just means is that you have a small tooth size discrepancy and pretty much everyone does, not everyone's symmetric. Um, if it's something super tiny, you may not have to do anything about it. If it's something bigger, you might have to do something about it. The doing something about it means that you might need to add IPR to one arch or the other. Um, or you might need to build up a certain tooth. There might be some extra spaces left over on one arch or another. That's just a conversation that you wanna have with your patient. Obviously, if you're doing the case through Invisalign, it's gonna get built into the treatment plan. Either they're gonna leave spaces on one arch or they're gonna do IPR on the other arch, um, one or the other. Um, you can put that in your preferences as a preference section and you can watch our video on preferences so that it automatically does one thing or the other, either the spaces or the IPR. I would recommend the IPR over the spaces because sometimes the spaces are teeny, teeny, tiny and you're not even gonna see them, but the patient's gonna get upset unless they request it um, at the end. So it's a conversation that you wanna have on the front end. Now, of course, if you're doing straight wire or braces or anything like that, um, there's nobody automatically calculating this for you. So, I mean, that's just part of being an orthodontist is that we get pretty good at verbally seeing these things with our eyes. Like, looks like there might be a Bolton discrepancy. And of course, there's different types of occlusogram. And if you have certain types of intraoral scanners, there's different softwares you can run it through. Honestly, I don't even stress out about it. If it's something super obvious, like you have peg laterals, then I'm going to address it or small laterals at the front end and just say, hey, look, we have two options. We can do buildups or we can do lower IPR. Which one do you prefer? Here's the risk benefits and alternatives. And I ask the patients to pick what they want and I get a signature and then that's that. 
Um, most of the time they choose the IPR. Sometimes they choose the, the buildups or the veneers. If you're doing restorations, I strongly recommend that you fold it into your treatment plan, get a signature and get a deposit on that restorative because nine times out of 10, you get to the end and they said they wanted something and they changed their mind. And now you're just going to spend a whole nother six to nine months in treatment, undoing and redoing. So that's why I recommend that. But anyways, the more cases you do, the more you'll be able to visualize these. You don't even need a software to tell you what to do. And you know what? So what? You, if you're in straight wire and you get to the point where you notice that things aren't quite fitting together, probably just means you have a bolt and discrepancy, add a little IPR to one arch or open up some space. You don't have to quantify it on the front end. You know, you can deal with it when you get there and you're in heavier wires. It doesn't stress me out at all. But if I know it's there, I just like to have that conversation with the patient so that they don't get upset at the end. All right, thanks so much. And again, please feel free to nudge Team Align Technology and let them know you'd like to see our instructional videos back. All right, thanks so much.